As a local DJ, I hear from the people who call into the studio. But today on election day, I wanted to hear from people in this community to find out what they were thinking. Did you vote already today? Yeah, I voted absentee. And um, am I, mind if I ask you how you voted? I voted no on the recall. How do you feel uh, the recall election has affected local politics? I think it's kind of muddied things up. Uh, too much uh, slander and, and uh, foul play. So we're, we're kind of little people fighting big giants. Yeah. Because finally, you know, we've got an elected official to go after somebody like Pacific Lumber that our community has seen for so long as being corrupt and taking our power away as a community. And, you know, finally we got somebody who was going to do something about it. But if Humboldt County voters see through this and vote to against the recall and to keep our DA in, it, I think it will be really empowering to people to recognize that, you know, we can say no to corporate domination and corporate rule and I think that that would really create a surge of energy and activism in our community. At the Lost Coast, a large group of supporters were anxiously awaiting election results. I took a public stand opposing the recall. I'm going to have some political fallout from that. When I was elected uh, 15 months ago, I had the endorsement of the Eureka Police Officers Association. If I were a guessing man, I probably lost that endorsement the day I put an ad in the paper. I hope I get it back. Um, it affects me, it affects this whole community. And I was quoted on the front page of the paper today and at a press conference yesterday for a no vote on the recall saying, no matter what the outcome of this election, this community is going to have to do a lot of work to heal itself. My job is to be the eyes and the ears of the assembly member. The assembly member was uh, not for the recall. She came out early to say that. And, um, you know, this is the epic battle of corporations versus uh, what the citizens want. And this was an extremely expensive and dirty campaign that cries for campaign finance reform. And I hope that we'll, we'll go forward and that there will be a movement in Humboldt County that will stay and that young people will continue to vote and those who've been disenfranchised in the process will continue to be a part of it because we need everyone to participate in democracy in order to keep democracy. One entity that uses the recall as a special interest event and that entity is a defendant in a lawsuit brought by the district attorney and they're trying to recall him for that. Only 60 days, 60, 90 days into office that started. They spent the same amount of money, if you took the money they spent here in Humble County per capita and extrapolated that to the rest of the nation, Bush and, and uh, Kerry apparently won't spend more per capita than was spent here for this election. It's uh, significant in terms of the amount of money that was been spent. The positive side is that the community raised significant amount of money in terms of supporting Paul and opposing the recall. And I think that shows the broad spectrum support that Paul has in the community and the fact they realize that this is, uh, this is their opportunity to take back their community in terms of their public officials. A lot of the country is watching this to see what happens because I think that if this recall does go through, it sets an extremely bad precedent for public officials not just in Humboldt County, not just in the state of California, but nationally. Well, if the recall is fought off and, and Paul survives this, it really will be a prime example of democracy in action. To have people that were otherwise apathetic and would never be involved in the democratic process get involved, that's exciting. Because that's what, you know, if, if, voter participation is necessary for democracy to work, period. Listening to people's voices, I've learned that Geigo supporters believe that good forest practices will come. But the struggle is just getting underway. A struggle that mirrors many others in modern America. The strategies of recall politics in Humboldt County remind us of Washington's deep financial obligations to corporate America. The national disgrace of wasting hundreds of millions on political campaigns. How many communities throughout America are being affected by this kind of political manipulation?
The people who supported Gallegos keep repeating the idea that our political system needs to encourage participation if it is to be effective and must be tempered by conscience, a lesson they hope to extend to corporate industry in their community. Once a stronghold for the timber industry, this community has undergone a change in its political landscape. Public sentiment for resource extraction methods like clear-cutting has dwindled. A shift towards corporate responsibility is on the horizon. People tell us democracy won this time, but that upholding it requires ongoing participation. I read this about 10 months ago when I was asked to speak. Thank you. And uh, it's actually by a guy named Gandhi. Maybe, maybe you may have heard of it. And he said, the seven sins. One is wealth without work. The other is pleasure without conscience. The other is knowledge without character. Fourth is commerce without morality. The fifth is science without humanity. Six is worship without sacrifice. And the seventh is politics without principle. Thanks. And politics and principle starts from the people and thank you. And it is truly our victory, not mine, so thanks. Liberty and justice while I bust.